All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Patrick Prager with Prager Paints Minis. And today we're gonna to tackle the number one request, which is edge highlighting. So the first technique you're seeing here is I'm highlighting by running the edge of my brush against a sharp surface. And this is kind of a debate when it comes down to edge highlighting. You'll see a lot of videos talk about moving the mini into a, an optimum position and then running the edge of the brush against it. And while I think this definitely works on a lot of surfaces, I like to actually go for more of a bold edge highlight. And uh, I still want it to be clean, but I'll actually take the time to use the very tip of my brush on a lot of these surfaces, even ones like you're seeing right now on the leg that you could actually run the edge on. It just leads to a different look. And uh, as always, when you're painting, it comes down to personal preference. But I'm known, you know, whether it's on Instagram or wherever I post my miniatures for a certain clean, uh, bold look. And this is how we achieve it. Not so much with running the edge, but more with the tip of the brush itself. And here you'll see that I made a little mistake. We had a little extra overbrush and that'll happen from time to time if you are painting with the tip of your brush instead of the edge. And it just comes with the territory. So you'll notice in this video, throughout the video, that I use the base color to almost outline my previous edge highlights if I think they're not tidy or if I think they're too bold and I want them to be finer. And that's really the trick, you know, for lack of a better word, for my style is not being afraid to go back with the base color and outline or highlight my edge highlights. And we're just gonna continue this process going from edge to edge across the entire armor panel. Now I'm gonna be honest, it gets a little messy on this next part. Frankly, I'm not used to doing these very fine edge highlights further away from my face. I tend to hold the mini kind of close to my face, but I wanted to keep it here in camera range, obviously, so it's it's adapting my style. I often have a different stance with my hands and elbows and arms, but it, it's a good opportunity to see me cleaning up some of these edges again. And uh, I'll just use this McCrag Blue, the same base coat, and the colors don't matter too much. It's more of the technique. And uh, in the edge recesses where it's darker, I'll just add a little black into that McCrag blue um, where I go up into the knee like I'm covering right now and uh, darken that up as well. Really just cleaning up and, and sharpening these edge highlights. And once again, I'm kind of plopping down the, the color here, uh, still getting used to painting this far away from my, my head and my body. So it's just a, a fat edge highlight for lack of a better term. And, and that's that's not too bad. It's not too bad to clean up. In a second here, we'll take the McCrag blue. We'll go back and sharpen up these edges. And that truly is the trick, quote unquote, to this style is plopping down a relatively neat highlight and then not being afraid to go back and outline and shape the highlight itself. You don't have to just do your first edge highlight and call it quits. There's nothing stopping you from cleaning it up and reinforcing it and shaping it until you're happy with the result. So here we go, let's clean this up a bit. We have McCrag Blue back on my brush. I'm thinning down these lines. I'm gonna shape it up how I want. And then in a second here, you'll see me wash off the McCrag Blue and hit Calgar Blue, which is my edge highlight color. And uh, I'll just reinforce the highlights again so that they stand out a little bit from the background color. And uh, one little quick tip is whenever you put paint down, acrylic paint, it'll always look brighter than after it's dry. So if you put down your base coat color and it seems brighter than the base coat color around it, 
Give it time to dry, it will be the same color. Nothing to worry about. Now this is just kind of a personal preference thing, but I absolutely love painting belts on Primaris Marines. They're all just short, straight lines, and you can really carve out these nice edge highlights that uh, do stand out. Of course, half the time the belt is covered by the weapon, so that's really up to you. I'll edge highlight everything, whether it's covered or not, uh, just a little neurotic like that. But the technique is what matters here. And the technique you're seeing is I just follow the edges. Follow the edges, let them be your guide. And then of course, don't be afraid to go back and sharpen them up if you're not happy. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm not quite happy with some of these lines, so back to the base coat, straighten them up, plop down the color until I'm happy, and move on from there. Okay, while we continue work here, I want you to take a look at my fingers and how they're shaking. And this is another tip that's not really spoken about a lot, but I was drinking a lot of caffeine right now. Your environment, how much sleep you've had, what you're drinking or eating, all of these things play a factor in how you're painting, whether we think about it or not. And if I'm drinking energy drinks and my hands are shaking because I'm hopped up on caffeine, that's certainly gonna affect my painting. Am I gonna stop drinking them? No but it does impact it and it's something to be aware of. And one thing that will help is how reinforced my hand and finger fingers are as I paint, right? I have a firm grip around the entire mini and I'm resting my painting hand on my thumb and pointer finger and that's giving a stable surface so that when I do make contact with the miniature, those fingers stop shaking, I'm comfortable and I feel supported as I paint. So we switch here now to the edge highlighting technique where we use the side of our brush. We did it on the knee pad and we're doing it on this head guard uh, armor section here. We'll use the edge of our, our brush and sometimes you can catch multiple edges here. That's always a bonus. If uh, you start to find your paint is watered down, then just, you know, get a little more, twirl your brush to kind of get most of it off and run it gently along these edges. And it definitely makes the process quicker. And that about sums up the process. It's not a complicated process. It just comes down to the amount of time you're willing to put into the edges at the, at the end of the day. Of course, a steady hand will help, but there's nothing stopping you from covering up anything you're not pleased with and, uh, and achieving the result you really want if you're willing to put in the time. It's uh, perseverance more than skill, I would say. And I'm gonna leave you here with some examples of, of my miniatures I've painted in this clean games workshop, heavy metal style. And, uh, and the bold outlines I think really stand out on the table. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And make sure to subscribe. I'm going to keep doing these videos. Leave a comment about what you want to see next. And here's the old Ultramarine Army that I've done over the past year. Thank you for joining me. And we'll see you next time.